said was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Cliffhangers like a mug. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, guys. It's your girl, Tower Crush. Back with another review. And this time, it is for P-Valley on Stars. If you haven't already, please hit my subscribe button down at the bottom, please. And thank you. You are so very appreciated. And I want to get right into this review because I don't want it to go on for too long. And we'll start out talking about Andre and Haley. You know, they was off going into his godfather's house that he now owns. And when they got there, his wife was sitting there waiting. So it cut in today with them arguing and Haley just kind of sitting back watching with smudged, you know, lipstick on her face and her nose. It was just kind of, ugh. Like she had some freaking nerve to be upset with him. Like he literally, you call him with his tongue in someone's mouth. He called you with somebody's member in yours. There's a big difference. Although I think he's going to be really sad if he finds out what really happened and what Haley had to tell him because she would not tell him. And then we have Little Murder. He had a, a performance, remember, um, with Mercedes. And basically, Mercedes went up there and she killed it. The highlight of the performance was Maine was there. And, you know, Maine is one of the leaders of the blue people um, in their town or whatever. And so he's definitely into it with La Murda because La Murda killed one of the blue people on the previous episode, you know, because that person was claiming a body that he didn't do. And he didn't appreciate that because that body was his boyfriend. And he didn't appreciate that, so he wouldn't put in that work. And with Maine being there trying to stir La Murder down, he was like, I ain't going for it. He started that a cappella. And he basically broke it down like on some drill stuff, like, no, nah, you're not gonna come in here. It only takes seven pounds of, of, of force or whatever. And he was like, if you don't want to uh, feel that seven pounds, you better get up through. And he left or whatever. I was like, oh, he ducked off real easy. I thought he was tough. I guess he ain't that tough because he let La Murder tell him to leave and he left. Y'all seen, seen that's what had happened. Shoot, I ain't making that up. Ernestine is still holding on and refusing to drink the water. So that is why Clifford was moved uh, on the last episode. She did not pass away. She is home and well. She beat COVID. Yes, she did. She beat COVID. But I was happy to see that she did not pass away. Because I was about to be like, oh my God, that is just too much. It's too much. It's too much. And we saw murder offer to come out of the closet for Clifford because I think he's tired of living in the in the closet and he just wants to be free. He wants to be open and honest with himself. And Clifford's like, no, because it's going to mess up your career. You know, I'm good with what I've got. I don't need nothing extra. I don't need you every night. I don't need you this, this, and that. And he's like, why? Because you don't know your worth. I was like, okay, little murder. He don't know. She don't know her worth. Okay. Let her know then. So, Mercedes got a royalty check from the exhibit, the Mercedes experience that uh, Coach's wife put on for her. And she sent her pictures and he, she sent her a check. And basically, that check, you know, helped Mercedes get her studio all the way together. And she's in there practicing. And out of nowhere, here comes Patrice. And she's like, what are you doing here? You know, and Patrice came in talking, you know, in riddles, basically. And she said that, um, I guess, Terika's stepmother had called her, you know, wanting forgiveness and basically telling her she was going to rehab and she needed her to keep Terika while she was away. And, you know, Patrice said that, you know, being that she just won the mayor and <laughs> she's running a whole church, she ain't got time to be raising nobody's 14-year-old child. Plus, she raised hers. <laughs> I said, oh my God, <laughs> Trace. But, you know, she said, I'll bring the rest of her stuff from the house. And Terika was just standing there, and Mercedes was so happy. And Terika ran up to her and held her, and she was crying. And Mercedes was crying. And he was like, oh, it's so beautiful. Maybe that'll be a olive branch to Mercedes from Patrice. <laughs> I thought it was cute, so in a good gesture. Okay, so Keyshawn got her money from the previous night, and I guess the car was waiting for her, and a note was there from Haley, 
and she was basically, you know, telling her, giving her advice, you know, reminding her of the key factors of, of how to get away. And she basically gave her some more money that was in the back of the car. And she was very happy, very pleased, and just basically walking on, you know, on clouds. And she met up with Lil Murda, who was on his tour bus, but gave her the money that he owed her. And so she was taking that with her. So she went to her sister's house to pick up the babies. And basically her stepmother was there and, you know, thought the kids were so cute that she had to call Derek and let them know just how much they looked like him. And so he immediately came and got the kids. Unbeknownst to Keyshawn, you know, Derek had come to pick the girls up. And he's, she's like, oh no, so my, my babies ain't here. So now she got to go back home to try to get her babies. But when she got there, unfortunately, Derek was there with this smug look on his face. And so was Child Protective Services. And he basically turned her in for child abuse, knowing that he was the one that was beating on them kids. And, you know, I guess the Child Protective Services lady was getting real smart with her or, you know, talking tough to her. She was just blacking out. She just could not believe she was this close to being gone. And now here she is and they about to take her kids talking about she got to stay there in the home with the kids for six months. Six months? Not Like, no, I'm trying to get away from him. Like, I don't understand why she didn't just open her mouth and say, he beats me and he beat them. And start showing her doggone bruises. Your whole body's bruised up, baby girl. Your whole body's bruised up. Like, why wouldn't you just show them that? Instead of going over there and attacking a white man in Mississippi and turning around and attacking a police officer. Are you out of your mind, girl? You lost your ever loving man and you gonna leave your kids with this crazy fool because you couldn't control yourself? You don't know how to use your words? Ah, oh, I'm so mad at Keyshawn. <laughs> oh, I said I can't get no more mad at her until I did. You gonna sit yourself in jail and basically call up Diamond and ask Diamond to do what he offered to do the last time when you pulled a gun on him and asked him to stop doing that? You didn't have no business asking him to do anything for you, little girl. You should have thought about that when you had a chance to leave the last time. Oh, I was so mad at Keisha on this episode. I can't even tell y'all how mad she made me. So, you know, of course, we know that Diamond got that soft spot for her. And when he got it from the table, you know, Big Bone was sitting there. She just kind of looked over at him. And I was like, oh, Lord, what's she up to? Y'all ain't going to believe it. Oh, well, y'all saw it, so y'all know. Yeah, she done basically, you know, he went to go and handle the business for Keyshawn. And he goes into the trunk of the car, getting his gloves and stuff. And all of a sudden, he sees somebody behind him that pops him and then stabs him. And, you know, he's on a tussle with him. And basically, the dude, you know, Gets the best of him, put something around his uh his mouth to keep him quiet and threw him in the back of the trunk. And then here come Big Bone. Talking about, yep, that's him. And he was like, nah, that would be too easy. So he had the gun on him, but he didn't shoot him. So I guess they gonna kidnap him and do whatever. I don't know what to him. Uh, we'll just have to see. But I know Diamond is not gonna fold whatever they try to do. He's not gonna fold. He's solid. He's totally solid. So we don't have to worry about that. Um murder has decided that he wasn't going on tour that he wanted to stay there with um uncle clifford and uncle clifford said no you need to go on this city is too small for you you need to you know go out there and spread your wings and he's like i don't want to do it with tina snow i need to do it on my own terms and not under anybody well really he needs to go out there with tina snow but the problem is he don't want to leave uncle clifford because he feels like he needs to protect uncle clifford because he got some funk and, you know, I think he just basically wanted to say he didn't want to miss Clifford anymore. And he lost his, his boyfriend. So Clifford is all he got and he don't want to lose him. And I'm like, I know that's right, Murder. You better stay up with your man. So, you know, his grandmother had Big L and Diamond set up a party for her. You know, her coming home party. And she was in the back of pink dancing and whatnot, everything. And, um... They went, Clifford went into the office and here come Haley, you know, 
And he basically told Haley he was buying her out, gave her the $250,000 that Corbin gave him. She was like, I'm not taking this. This ain't enough. She, he was like, oh, yes, it is enough. And he basically read her the rat act like, no, you ain't no sister. You ain't no family. We tried to take you in and try to, you know, be family with you. And you wouldn't even do that. And blah, 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 blah. And she was like, this is this is wrong. And she he, he and Clifford was like, no, it's not. No, it's not. This is exactly what you asked for. So he gave her her two hundred and fifty thousand and told her to get on up through. And girl, she done made it. To, she done wrote a check, got herself some new clothes and a new wig, <laughs> and opened you Uncle Clifford's account. <laughs> so <laughs> his account's overdrawn twenty four thousand, and he just cannot believe it. I guess he gonna have to sell one of them burgers or something. I don't know. But Haley disappeared in the crowd. I guess. It looked like she was in Chinatown or something with her little white suit on. And she turned around and looked with her little crooked smile. And she, you know, walked out. And then all of a sudden, you ain't see her no more. So I said, I guess she gone. I guess she gone. Because, and then, and I just want to say, murder did come out in front of the whole city. Because at the back of the party, when Clifford was dancing with one of the OGs, here come little murder up behind her and put his arms around her and she turned around like and he was like yep and then he kissed her and when i tell y'all the whole city was watching the whole city was watching i said okay Mara. okay Mara. <laughs> yep that was the season finale i can't believe it was a season finale there were just so many cliffhangers I mean, we did see Maine break it off with Mercedes, whatever connection that they had, because she feels like that she's with Murda because she danced with them, and he felt like that was her drawing her line in the sand. She wasn't, but he ain't trying to hear that. So I guess that's come to a conclusion, but we don't really know what's going to happen with Haley. We know she's pregnant with Andre's baby. Andre's staying in Chuck Elisa, even though he lost. He's staying there and he's going to open his law office there and doesn't know if his wife is going to stay or not. Would not tell Haley what was up. Um, Clifford, just as happy as a, just happy as a lark. Let's just say that, that he's got uh, murder and he's actually opening up to his own feelings and not wanting to ha have anymore. Well, not being able to have because, you know, murder ain't having it no more. Clifford, you gon' you ain't gonna keep on using me. <laughs> so I thought that was cute, and we'll just have to see when we see this um, come back. I'm hoping sometime next year. Hopefully, they're already filming, so we don't have to wait too long. But I know with this series, it's probably gonna be at least twelve months. So we'll be ready whenever it comes back, won't we? Beginning of June. Beginning of June. <laughs> all right <laughs> and again if you haven't already please hit my subscribe button down at the bottom i thank y'all for staying with me through this season and i hope to see you all on some of my other reviews and maybe even next season when the show comes back and maybe we can get some of our questions answered like what y'all gonna do with Jamie? what y'all gonna what's what's gonna happen with mississippi when she gonna call clifford and tell clifford where she at <laughs> But we're just going to have to wait. So, again, I do thank you all. And if you don't want to subscribe, you know what? You watch this video and you're just as important to me. So, thank you for that. And that is my $5.02. Peace.